making. Okay. This is a. I gotta check my note. Celtic symbol, because I do a lot of symbols. Okay. Some of them are Viking, some of them are Celtic, some are Christian, some are pagan. Just depending on the mood I'm in. Um, this one I found on social media, Pinterest. Um, it actually comes from a, a site called Languages of the Angels. And I assume that's why the, the sparrows and so forth are a big part of it. Uh, I was looking for something that I could do out here quick and easy. So I picked on some of these. Uh, I've done a couple of them. There's one over there that stands for strength. It's Celtic. Uh, I do a lot of other Celtic symbols of different signs and runes and things. There's a Viking rune down there. The image there beside it is a, um, it's actually a gargoyle or a grotesque. And a grotesque is different than a gargoyle because a gargoyle spots water. Grotesque does not. The story behind that is that that's face that's on there with the glasses, the sunglasses, is a image that my friend's daughter drew of him. And he passed away here last back in the spring. His wife has commissioned me to take that drawing and make a stone carving from it. Oh. So how long have you done so, this? I've been at this uh, about six or seven years now. This is my third or fourth year out here. Where's home base? What? Where are you originally from? I'm originally from Ohio. But I live here in Tulsa, been here for 40 some odd years now. Excellent. So actually I say I'm from here. Yeah. We'll let you claim us. <laughs> I have a studio out south.